basically spent the last 10 minutes looking for my extra camera battery. Hey! Today on So Craftastic, I am showing you my attempt at the all black burrito. I think the only all black burrito that ever existed. Why you may ask? Because Threadbanger. I see you, Corinne and Rob. Hi Leo! Come here, buddy! Leo says follow me on Instagram. Leo McListers. I post pictures for him. Okay, bye. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up at some point. You can wait until you watch a little of it, but you know, it, it's gonna be good, so just take my word for it. And also, please subscribe. Now let's go out to the kitchen. So I decided instead of buying a can of refried beans, since this is mainly a DIY channel, I went ahead and got pinto beans instead from my second favorite grocery store, Whole Foods. My first is Kroger, but we don't have those in Cleveland. So here I am opening it, obviously, and I dump them into this container. Pour the entire can in there, juice and all. Don't worry about draining anything out. Now I tried to mash them and I failed miserably. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but then I decided that I would not be lazy and get out my blender. I actually got this blender a couple years ago and I thought I would be making smoothies every single day and green juice and all that, but yeah, I haven't really touched it in about two years. You can tell by the way I couldn't get the lid on. Beans are loaded and I just turned it on low and watched it blend around and it looks so disgusting because you know in your mind that it's not chocolate or peanut butter, it is beans. I'm not really grossed out by beans, but I mean a bean smoothie would be disgusting. I did buy organic and non-flavored pinto beans, so there's hardly any salt or anything in them. There's 4% sodium, so I decided for more flavor to add paprika and black pepper. If they're still too bland for you at this point, you can go ahead and load them up with a ton of salt. I bet that's why they taste so good at restaurants. And after everything is mixed together, the magic is going to happen. The reason for this video's existence, black food coloring. That's right, a ton of black. And this video would be 10 times better if I could play the Paint It Black song legally, commercially, and have the rights to it because if I do play it, they are going to take all the money that I've earned from this video. Ah, oh, copyright, but that's okay. Just pretend that it's playing. Keep mixing it in until it looks like tar. You want it to be really dark. In the meantime, I had a pan sitting on medium heat to just warm up a little bit. I put some olive oil in there, and this is a non-stick pan, so it's easier to clean it up. Then I poured the bean mixture in there, and it's sizzling like crazy. That's okay, though. This is why you want to keep the liquid in, because all the extra moisture is going to cook out and evaporate as this heats up in the pan. So don't think they're going to end up this runny. They are not. Since they're so dark, you can't tell if they're getting charred or burnt, so you definitely want to cook them on a low to medium heat and keep mixing frequently. I probably did this for about 10 minutes or so. Now I'm mixing ingredients for the homemade tortillas, so I'm putting in two cups of all-purpose flour. You can use any kind of flour. A half teaspoon of salt. And then in a different bowl, I'm combining the wet ingredients, three-fourths cup water, and three tablespoons of olive oil. Then, of course, the secret, not so secret ingredient, black food coloring. Be really generous when you put this food coloring in because it's easier to mix it at this point than it is later, and you will see why. But I would suggest dumping maybe half the bottle of food coloring in there. It's okay. Dump the liquids in with the powders and mix them together. So here you can see it go from black to a light gray, which I did not want. So I tried to add more food coloring in and it was not gonna mix with the spoon. And then I had this bright idea to wrap my hands with plastic wrap because I didn't wanna dye my skin. Uh, you could see this fell off really quickly, but I didn't have any sanitary gloves to wear. Are there kitchen gloves to wear when you're cooking? I, I don't know. It's really easier and a lot more fun to just mix it in with your hands. It will maybe stain, and it might stain for a day or so. But the main reason I was trying to cover my skin is because no one was home to help me film, and I didn't want to get my camera completely ruined and dirty. So that is why you can see my hands are miraculously clean again at this point when I'm putting flour on the cutting board. It said in the recipe that I found online for the tortillas that you can divide the dough into eight sections, so it's eight servings, or eight tortillas anyway. I know most people eat more than one. So I'm just taking out a little bit of dough. I am gonna stretch it out as big as my pan is, basically, 
and just kind of flip it and pancake it out like I'm doing here. I know no technical cooking chef terms, it's okay. Um, you can use a rolling pin if you want, but again, this is a lot easier for me to make it symmetrical and circular. Push that aside and grab any cheese of your choice. For this video, I'm using mozzarella since it's white and easy to dye. Normally, I don't put mozzarella on my tacos. I put like Colby Jack or maybe cheddar. So just put some in a dish and of course dye it black, paint it black, color it black, drown it in black. Ah, that sounds morbid. Disclaimer, I don't want to trick you guys into thinking that I'm vegan, but I have made a lot of changes in my life this year, aka I cut out all pork and beef, which makes me really happy. I also don't eat a lot of dairy stuff, so I don't buy dairy yogurt or ice cream anymore, and I try to buy non-dairy cheese and soy chicken and stuff like that. So once that is dyed completely black, then I'm also dyeing my favorite taco sauce. This stuff is delicious, medium, you have to get medium. And I'm putting that into a dish and putting black food coloring in, surprise, surprise. Now I have that same pan and I am just wiping it with oil to coat it just so the tortilla will be easier to get out. I put it in and of course you don't wanna leave it here for too long because it can get really dry and it can get crispy really quickly. I don't know what the magical number is for how long to cook this and I really honestly don't know why anyone would want to make their own tortillas because they're a pain in the butt and they're very, very doughy, floury tasting. So I am not a huge fan of their taste. I just would rather buy the ones from Whole Foods. And corn tortillas are particularly delicious, by the way. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to make as much as I could. I obviously wasn't gonna make my own cheese, but that is understandable. At this point in time, I was still rather happy and hopeful because I thought that I had done a darn good job cooking this tortilla. It didn't seem overly dried out or anything. So I glopped on some steaming hot beans and I also poured some cheese on there with the hopes that it was going to be all stringy and melty because the bag said that it melts great. And I put more steaming hot beans on top to melt the cheese. Then I just folded up the bottom and the sides to make it look burrito-like, and I guess you could fold the top as well, whatever you want. And I was like, yes, it looks awesome, and I went to pick it up, and it just all broke apart. So yeah, that happened. It's still really delicious. I mean, you can't go wrong with beans and cheese and taco sauce. But I'm going to leave this censored monkey on the screen to let you know what I thought about this project. And coincidentally, it looked like two eyes on the plate here, so I decided to make it into a face of disapproval to show my true feelings for you, taco burrito. If you're not caught up with all my videos, I just posted a drawing with makeup thing. It wasn't really a tutorial because I talked a lot, but behind me, I drew some stuff. I made some artwork, so you can go check those out. Also, if you like my new strawberry shortcake Funko Pop, then put a strawberry in your comment somewhere. If you guys do want me to start a vlog channel, I would love to hear your input on that because I don't get to share a lot of stuff about me on here. So I thought that would be a perfect way to get to know you guys more, especially for those of you who don't have Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter because I post on those places a lot. So I think it would be a great way for us to keep up with each other more because I have a lot of stuff that I don't get to share with you guys in my videos because it's just totally irrelevant. Definitely not daily vlogs, but weekly I could probably do if my life is interesting enough that week. This was just an extra video, don't take it too seriously. I'm going to be doing something pretty cool coming up this Friday, on Crafty Friday, and it's going to be crayon related, that's all I'm going to tell you. So hope to see you back here, have a great rest of the day, bye! Well, I don't know what to say, I just move my arms, just interpretive dance. Interpretive intro and outro. <clears throat> I see you, Karab and Karab, Karab, hashtag Karab, when you try to say Karin and Rob.